here with Nigel Barker from America's Next Top Model. So, yeah. what did you think about the show today? I'm a big fan of Pamela Rowland. I've been to her shows now for probably about five years. Um, and I actually now work as a creative uh, consultant and director with Pamela Rowland. So, um, you could say I'm, I'm on the inside here at this show, particularly. Uh, I, you know what? It's, it's a great collection. It's, um, it has everything that, 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 that's in trend this season, the greys and the silvers and the beautiful metallics. And, but she's got a very different take on it. She dresses the, the stars for the red carpet, as we know. And what she's really done is, is, is taken those ideas and those feelings and then injected her a trip that she took last year where she went to Venice. And uh, it has this beautiful sort of uh, Venetian, Italian feeling to it. Very sexy very feminine ethereal. very sexy dude. beautiful goodness I mean you you can just see the stars wearing this, these clothes on the red carpet and there's also pieces for everyone to wear and I think that's what she's done so well is that you know she's she takes it and and, and, then, and there, there are pieces that anyone can buy and she's bringing it now she has a new line on QVC coming out um, heard about that right so you know it's taking this luxury idea this luxury brand that she's built and then delivering it to the masses it's gonna be wonderful I mean absolutely. anyone can be able to buy her you absolutely. know Absolutely, buying into the whole sort of Pamela Roland brand, and you know, these 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 shows at Fashion Week are a lot of fun, and sometimes they, you know, they're a bit sort of disjointed, and you don't really know what you're left think, feeling. But I think there's no um, surprises here, and you really, you know, you you're left feeling like uplifted and, and like sort of in another world. It's, it was it's wonderful, all fantasy. and it's also I love how she combined 50s like Audrey Hepburn Absolutely. type of feeling to in her clothing, and how the show is involved. Um, Absolutely. I'm curious with uh, like America's Next Top Model and the models that come on, the creative direction that you all were doing here, do you see them wearing any of Pamela Rowland? In, in oh, yeah, Pamela Rowland's been on America's Next Top Model twice. Mm -hmm. So, um, and we didn't meet that way actually. I had no idea she was on it. We were already friends prior to that. Um, you know, I've come to the shows for many reasons. I mean, one of the main reasons is to be, be inspired. Um, and to see what's happening next season and, and as a photographer to know what's going to be in and what's going to be, you know, the, 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 the sort of the new trends and what have you. And, um, but with Pamela, I, you know, I come to sort of really get into the whole fantasy of, of what it's like to be in, in a, the sort of celebrity look and the red, and the red carpet look because that's really what she does. You know, it's, it's not so much fashion. It's really more fantasy and dream. And most people, you know, most women out there, that's the one thing they want. It's a dream. That's right. That's right. Well, thank you so very Pleasure. much. It was wonderful talking nice to, you. to you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Bye-bye. Good luck.